Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the marketing budget template. We'll start by hiding the top ribbon to have more space. Perfect. First, let's go into the settings page. It allows you to indicate the report start month and year as well as the initial budget. Let's go to the categories tab. This is where we list up to 10 categories and 10 subcategories for each category. Let's add a new one we'll call Data Marketing. We'll also list all the associated subcategories. Great. Moving on to the budget section. This is where we enter monthly budgets for each categories. Let's enter budgets for our newly created category. Great. Next, the suppliers tab. This is where we enter all suppliers and their details. Let's add a new one together. We'll indicate the supplier's name, their address, the city, state, zip code, phone number, an email, and a name. We'll hit the button to sort the suppliers alphabetically. Perfect. Let's move on to the expense section. This is where we enter all expenses and indicate their details. Let's say we had an expense in May. We'll indicate the date, the invoice number, the supplier, category, subcategory, amount, and if it has been paid or not. We can also add notes if need be. Great, we're now ready to look at the results. First, let's go to the dashboard. We'll hit the refresh button to ensure the latest data is being shown. Perfect. The header indicates main KPIs. We have the total budget, the actual expenses, which are only paid invoices, the payable accounts, which consists in invoices remaining to pay, the total expenses, and the balance. Further down, we have the top expenses by category, the actual expenses versus budget, the top 10 suppliers in terms of expenses, and then finally, under that, we have the monthly performance, which is the actual versus budget. On the right-hand side, a series of filter allows us to visualize specific data. We can filter by month, by supplier, or by category. Moving on to the expense report. This is a table that shows monthly expenses for each category and subcategory. Once again, filters on the right hand side allows us to filter expenses based on if they have been paid or not, and by supplier. Finally, the budget report. This lists all categories, their overall budget, actual expenses, payable, and total expenses, as well as a balance, which is budget versus actual, 
and a percentage actual versus budget. The data on the right hand side indicates overall data. And that's it. You know everything you need to know about our marketing budget template and you're ready to start using it now. Enjoy.